Oil is heading for new highs, yet further gains may be capped by negative factors. The ruble's prospects are gloomy without any signs of a rebound. Hurricane Laura, which is approaching the Gulf of Mexico, currently serves as the main driver for the energy market. On Tuesday, both Brent and WTI crude reached their highest levels since March the 5th, when the coronavirus pandemic started. However, the hurricane may have a short-term effect on oil prices. Even if it takes long to restore the output in the Gulf Coast, current crude reserves are enough to avoid disruption in supply. Fuel demand is still weak due to the ongoing coronavirus crisis. Brent opened the day in positive territory and renewed the highs of early August. Later in the afternoon, oil quotes slowed down their uptrend and were hovering in the flat channel. Brent oil futures for October added 0.16% to trade at $46.35 per barrel. American crude WTI showed similar dynamics and was last seen trading at $43.36 per barrel. Oil is also supported by the data on crude inventories in the US. The report from the American Petroleum Institute showed that oil stockpiles dropped by 4.52 million barrels last week. On Wednesday, market participants will focus on the official report from the US Energy Information Administration. If the data is bullish, then Brent is likely to test a new high soon. The Russian ruble closed yesterday's session with losses, having eased by 1% to the level of 75.32 against the US dollar. On Wednesday, the ruble continues to decline. During the day, it has lost 0.4% and is currently trading at 75.61 against the greenback. The drop happened despite an overall positive background. It seems that the unfavorable geopolitical situation weighs heavily on the ruble. The alleged poisoning of Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny and the unrest in Belarus add to the bearish factors against the ruble. The dollar-ruble pair has its key resistance at the level of 76 points. If the ruble bulls give up, the pair may rise further to the levels of 77 and 77.60. At the moment, political factors are the main driving force for the pair. In the short term, the ruble may come under more pressure. U.S. First Deputy Secretary of State Stephen Bygin said that if the poisoning of Alexei Navalny is confirmed, Washington will immediately take action against Russia. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.